Welcome clients and guests to my channel. I'm Jason Cerro and I'm a licensed professional counselor. My videos are designed to educate and empower you to make informed decisions about your mental health. By learning to accept who you are, how you think, and what drives your ADHD brain, you can unleash true power and productivity. Discover how to play to your strengths and develop the tactics you need to complete tasks here. Those with ADHD tend to think too magically. We expect that instead of constant effort, change would come naturally because we want things to be different. Alternatively, we struggle against our ADHD minds, rejecting and resisting a lifetime of realities about our abilities and limitations. Or we obsess over something so much that we start to believe we accomplished it, not acting on what you know to do. The core of the ADHD difficulty is making the transition from knowing to doing. What then triggers genuine advancement and change? Acknowledging our diversity as ADHD individuals and appreciating who we are really helps. Maximizing our talents and coming up with solutions when necessary becomes easier the more self-aware we are and the more self-accepting we are. The power of possibility and choice. Knowing and utilizing our cognitive processes is essential to planning ahead and acting with effectiveness. Change is a process and it gets easier the more we comprehend how it works. Here are a few methods to get things going. ADHD. It takes honesty to become self-aware, identifying your skills and weaknesses, as well as who you are and who you are not, what you are likely to do or not do, and how you operate versus how you wish you worked are the first steps towards becoming self-aware. You run the danger of creating a life or acting in ways that are not beneficial to you if you lack self-awareness. Knowing who you are and how you work or do not work will help you create plans to enhance your positive traits and make up for any ADHD shortcomings. You can take action to reduce your frustration triggers if you are aware of them. Once you know what makes you feel refreshed, you can arrange time for it. Annie found it difficult to squeeze exercise into her work week, which upset her. She made the decision to visit the gym first thing every day. Although it was a nice idea for someone who frequently battled to wake up and arrived late to work, it was not a sustainable arrangement. She therefore enrolled in an after-work ex exercise class, which she frequently skipped due to her work-related exhaustion. We talked about more sensible options. She left the office for a midday yoga lesson, and in the afternoon, she felt more energized and focused. She attended yoga with coworkers, which made the commitment more social and simpler for her to maintain. Develop self-acceptance for ADHD. Even if you may not enjoy every aspect of who you are, you are more likely to accomplish tasks when you accept your identity, thought process, and manner of working. Establish a space free from judgment and let go of your idealized self. You are an individual made up of your personality, background, IQ, ADD, LD, genetics, birth order, abilities, and surroundings. We are better able to act and less likely to react when we accept who we are. Get out of the self-criticism guilt trap. Rather than letting this go on, guilt traps us in a web of regret and failure. Research indicates that individuals who have self-acceptance are more content and productive. Realize that you are always in control. Embracing our obstacles does not preclude us from making changes. Give up your victim mindset. Biology, history, environment, experiences, and other people in our lives may exacerbate our difficulties, but we always have a choice in how we react to any given circumstance. Consider the things we can do rather than the things we cannot. It is possible that you will need to find a solution, but the ADHD brain is really good at that. Have faith in your ability to try new approaches. My name is Jason Cerro and I'm a licensed professional counselor and I'm accepting new patients for mental health counseling, both in person and through telehealth. Want to stay in the loop with all the latest articles, videos, and valuable mental health insights? Sign up through the link in the description or click on this video here. You can also go to www.jasoncerro.com and enter your email at the bottom of my homepage. Please do me a solid and like and subscribe to my channel to get the latest videos. Do you have any beliefs that restrict you? When evaluating a scenario or your own talents, are you realistic? Take a look at reality. Do not rely on your gut feeling to respond. Drama appeals to our minds. To us, everything is all or nothing, perfect or ineffective, black or white. Steve was having difficulty at college. Although he altered many of his behaviors and implemented the solutions we outlined, his grades remained the same. When I asked him if he felt he could succeed, he answered negatively. James did not think he could change, which kept him stuck. He saw improvements in his academics and self-confidence when he focused on altering his perspective. Provide a brain roadmap. Have faith in your ability to transform your life and be explicit in your objectives. You are less likely to achieve any of your goals if you work on too many of them at one time. 
Even if you think you're good at multitasking, you cannot capture two bunnies at once. Plan your way to success. When objectives are definite, goals are attainable, and techniques are realistic and well-defined, change occurs. Start with, I will leave the house at 8.15 each morning, so I will arrive at work relaxed and on time, rather than, I am going to master time. Developing brain-friendly solutions for ADHD becomes easier the more self-aware you are. Consider that every endeavor requires two sets of strategies. The first is gathering the necessary equipment, strategies, and tools for the task, and the second is inspiring oneself to do it. Act now. Consider the things that could prevent you from acting, whether they are outside circumstances or internal worries, doubt, avoidance, negative self-talk, lack of motivation, or conviction. Always treat yourself with kindness and have backup plans ready. The more familiarity and understanding you have with your ADHD brain, the more equipped you will be to complete tasks.